friends and happy Monday! It's the 11th of May, we're 11 days into everyday May. I thought I'd come out and sit in the sun because it is freezing inside our house today. My hands are like ice. So this is where we are. We're in the sun, in the backyard and loving life because my fingers are defrosting, which is lovely. So, it's Monday, it's the start of a new week, so I thought I would start the week off by talking about some quilts. <laughs> Why not? Now that my Liberty Hearts quilt is finished and gifted to Mum for Mother's Day, it's time to move on to something new. But first, I wanted to just do a really quick recap of all of the quilts that I made last year because I made a lot. I can't believe how many I made. I made a list this morning and <laughs> just couldn't believe just how many quilts I made last year. I made seven quilts last year. I don't think I've ever made that many quilts in one year before. So whether we can beat that record this year, that's another question. I just wanted to quickly run down all the ones that I made and then chat about some of the ones that I want to make this year. I've already made two, which is like, yes, but anyway, we'll get to that in a second because there's a lot of exciting projects that I would like to do. So the quilts that I made in 2019, starting with the first one that I finished, it was my mini block quilt along. It seems like a lifetime ago that I did that and I'm really happy with the result of that one. Worked out really, really well. And I love having it on the wall of my sewing room. It just, I don't know, it's just lovely. It's just perfect where it is. The second quilt that I finished was my pixelated rose quilt. That was a whip that had been just sitting there and sitting there and sitting there. And I finally got to the point where I was like, I need to finish this quilt. We're going to finish it. And I ended up finishing it and putting it into the quilt show at the Easter show. Didn't win me any places, but I wasn't really expecting that. I just really wanted to be just a part of the show. I think the pixelated rose quilt is one of the biggest quilts I've made. And it was the quilt that made me, or was the catalyst that made me buy the sewing machine that I have now. So yeah, and I was, I was really happy with the result of that one. And it hangs proudly in my sewing room and is a great little backward drop for vlogs, I think. Number three is my swoon quilt. I made that quilt for my lovely friend Aisha in the UK for her birthday. The swoon block is one of her favourite blocks. So I thought I'd give her this, this quilt for just being an amazing friend. Last year she helped my dad a lot in finding out more about his family in the UK, which he didn't know a lot of. So yeah, she just did an amazing job helping us out with that. So yeah, I gave her the quilt for that. And just on a side note, I would love to make another swoon quilt because that block is like one of the loveliest blocks ever, I think. Maybe I'll have to put that on my to make list again. Yeah. The fourth quilt that I finished was the Pantone Pinwheels quilt. That was a challenge quilt that I wasn't expecting, planning on making it all last year. But I'd have to say it's one of my favourite quilts that I've made. It is so pretty. I was looking at it last night because I have it hanging up on the wall in our front room. And it is just the most prettiest quilt I've ever made. I love the colours and I love the pop of the black and white stripe. It just works and I love the quilting on it. It's just such a lovely quilt. It just turned out to be such a lovely surprise make and I'm glad I did. The fifth quilt that I made was my Lucky Star quilt. That one again is another long-term whip I think that I just had lying around and I was like I'm finally going to finish this quilt and it turned out to be so beautiful. I was actually thinking of selling that quilt on my Etsy store but I ended up loving it way too much and decided to keep it for myself <laughs> and it now sits proudly on my bed and I just love it. I love everything about it like all of the quirky print and the colors and just everything I just love it so much it's very much me in a quilt it's just yeah number six my Union Jack quilt again another quilt that's very much me and very much a long-term whip oh now I'm thinking of it I think last year I I said I wasn't going to start any new projects I was just going to finish all of my big whip projects that I just had lying around forever that's right that's all coming back to me now yeah yeah, 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 okay, yeah, so my Union Jack quilt, I think I started that in, oh my gosh, like 2012, 2013, and it's all paper pieced Union Jacks, and I just had all the blocks lying around, I'm like, I am finally going to piece this together, quilt it, and 
uh, and have it finished before going to the UK last year. That quilt actually went with us to the UK. I was going to take photos with it in front of all like London Bridge and and all the big famous places. It didn't happen. We didn't have enough time. The quilt is actually quite heavy so to be carrying that around all day, especially having such a full sort of schedule every day, having to carry around a quilt was yeah almost impossible. It didn't end up happening. It just stayed in my suitcase and didn't come out so I kind of regret not taking photos with it but at the same time it was just a little impossible yeah it just didn't happen but I still love that quilt it's such a darling little quilt and then the last quilt that I made last year was a baby quilt made for my beautiful nephew Lucas he was born the 22nd of December the same birthday as Noah I think the block that I used was the friendship star I, I can't remember, correct me if I'm wrong, but I did do that block as a tutorial in one of my quilt along series. It's linked below if you want to have a look at it. Baby quilts are my favourite thing to make and yeah, it was just a really nice sort of way to finish off the year uh, by making a baby quilt for a brand new nephew. The birds are going crazy. Ah, there goes the dog. So that was 2019 in quilt making. My best yet. Oh, the dog's gone crazy because there's someone at the door. So yeah, 2019 was a good year for quilt making and I hope that it can carry on this year. But, I mean, with all this self-isolation and quarantine, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Jolly! Come here, mate. Come here, sweetie. Where the gorgeous boy Oh my gosh, the sun is so delightful. I'm so happy right now. Let's move on to 2020 quilts. As I mentioned, I've already made two this year, which is amazing, and I'm so happy about it. First one is, of course, my Hexi Flower Quilt, and that quilt just turned out to be the most loveliest thing. I love it so much. Again, I was actually thinking of selling that quilt on Etsy, but I don't know. I just love it so much, and I just can't part with it, which, I don't know, is that a selfish thing? I don't know. No, I love that quilt. It's just amazing. I almost like accidentally made like an I Spy quilt, I think. There's just so many great little like designs and, and patterns and things to just like look at and your eye just goes everywhere. So yeah, I love that quilt. So pretty. And then of course, I just finished one two days ago. My Liberty Hearts quilt for mum. I initially wasn't making it for mum. I initially just wanted to make it because I wanted to make hearts out of my beautiful Liberty fabric. It's a serendipity. It just turned out to be a great present for mum. She loved it, so that's always a plus. Moving on to this year's quilts. This is my wish list of quilts that I want to make this year, and I'm going to try my hardest to make it happen. The first one I have shared with you in a previous vlog. It's a pattern by Liberty or from Liberty. It's called Flower Show but it's just using the orange pill applique template type thing there on the back but it's just using all of their Liberty prints and I had this beautiful bundle that I picked up at Liberty last year when we were over there and I think it's the perfect the perfect project. Always wanted to make a quilt like this so I that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this beautiful bundle that I spent a fortune on and make a beautiful orange pill flower show quilt out of it. So this is actually my next project. I will be starting this in the next couple of days and I'm so excited but at the same time I'm scared because this is such beautiful fabric and I don't want to like ruin it or cut it up and then regret it. And I'm in two different minds but it's got to happen. I really want to make it so I'm gonna make it. The next quilt that I wanna try and make, I mean, I do still kind of have time, but I wanna sort of get a start on it. One of my girlfriends from high school is having a baby, and it's very exciting. She's due uh, beginning of November, I think. Yeah, beginning of November. So of course I need to make her a baby quilt for her lovely little baby. I'm not sure whether they're gonna find out the sex, so I think I'm gonna just keep it neutral. The quilt that I want to make her is a beautiful little bee quilt. I'm going to use this free quilt block pattern by Sugary Dew. It's called the Happy Bee Block and I think it's just perfect for 
a baby quilt. As soon as I saw my lovely quilting friend Carissa share it on her Instagram, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to make that and it would be perfect for my friend's baby quilt. So with everything that I'm sharing with you today, I will definitely share a link to each pattern down in the description. So if you would like to print the pattern out and make it yourself, then you'll find the link below. I am so excited to make this one. It's going to be so adorable and sweet but you know all in good time all in good time i need to consult my list on my phone okay i don't have a printout of this one but i will put a picture of it on the screen because i actually haven't bought the pattern yet but i would love to make a disney princess parade quilt the pattern is available through etsy and it's by a designer named Lo Ray Me. I would love to make this quilt for my niece Amelia. It's her birthday in early December and I think it would be such a sweet quilt to make her and give it to her for her birthday. She'll be six so I think it would be like perfect and she's totally into all of her Disney princesses so it would be wonderful to find the time to make that for her but that is definitely on the to-do list for this year. I also would love to make a scrappy house block quilt. It's one of those quilts that I've wanted to make like forever. I love little house blocks and and house quilts and stuff like that and I love myself a good scrappy quilt. So I came across this free pattern. It's by is it jumble miss rosie's quilt co i don't know the pattern is called village i didn't print it out in color just in black and white but i believe it is a pattern by moda it is a free pattern you can make it with charm squares or um, any sort of charm packs and stuff like that but essentially they're just tiny little houses made up of tiny little pieces of fabric great for scraps and you just put it all into a quilt and it looks like the most sweetest thing ever but yeah it's just another little quilt that i would love to sort of just power away on getting rid of scraps and because i have so many scraps just tubs full of just crap fabric that are just sitting there wasting space to be able to put all that sort of stuff into a gorgeous like house quilt uh, it's just the dream for me so that is also on the list i would also love to make a single girl quilt it's a pattern by denise schmidt i've been coveting that pattern for ages some of the quilts that people make with that pattern are just beautiful it's kind of a quilt that would suit me very well because i myself am a single girl so why not make a single girl quilt so that's another one on the list to do i would also love to make just a traditional log cabin quilt log cabin quilts are just so beautiful and i think just really underestimated and then adding just another complicated quilt on top of it all i would love to keep going with my winterville quilt this is that big christmas quilt i started in my vlog last year and it just kind of went nowhere the sun started going to the shadows but this is the winterville quilt it's got the big snowflake in the middle and the houses and it's just so Christmassy and cute I did the center for vlogmas last year I don't know whether you can see that and that is as far as it got I didn't go any further than that because December is always just so busy and nothing gets done I would really love to just keep going on that one and have that as like another quilt just to sort of like you know potter away with when I don't want to do anything else <laughs> so there's lots and lots of quilts that I want to try and make this year I'm not going to be like totally strict on getting them all finished because there's no way in any sort of living life that I'll be able to get all of that finished this year I mean it would be wonderful <laughs> but it's not gonna happen. I will do my best to get as much as I can, but yeah. The sun is going behind the trees and it's making me very sad. But I mean, in good news, feel my hands again. <laughs> They're not freezing cold, um, but it is really nice to sit in the sun and just be outside. Sometimes it can be a bit depressing when you're just stuck inside all day. And look at the beautiful blue sky, it's so lovely. And let me know what quilts you're planning on making this year. And also if I've inspired you to make any as well out of my lovely little list of things to do. As I mentioned, you'll find all of the links to each of the patterns down below. Majority of them are all free downloads. If they're not free downloads, then I will put that it's not free. Or the other way around, I'll put that they are free. I don't know. But they'll all be down there if you want to check them out. So... I have been doing some prelim organization of this quilt. Just making sure 
measurements in their work and I've got enough of everything. There are some issues with this pattern. I don't know whether it's just me or, but a few things are a little bit off. For starters, the petal that I'm using, I'm not going to be turning the edges over. I'm just going to do just a flat applique and then do like a a blanket stitch on the machine around the edges. So like a raw applique, not a turned applique. So because I'm doing a raw edge applique, the five and a half inch square that they're saying to applique the piece onto is not big enough for the template. So I've had to make the size of the block that you applique the petal onto a little bit bigger. So I've just figured that out. And then I realized I'm not going to have enough fabric um, to do this size quilt. And I want to do this size quilt. I want to do exactly what the pattern says. I need 15 fat quarter squares. I only have eight. So I'm going to have to buy another Liberty bundle. There is an Australian stockist. They're called the Strawberry Thief. They sell it like all the quilt shows and stuff like that. And they specialize in Liberty fabrics. But all they have is the Tanner Lawn fabric, which is 100% cotton, but it's not quilting cotton. But that's beside the point. So I'm going to have to buy another bundle um, because one, I want to, <laughs> and two, I want to make it this size. So yeah. I'm pretty sure I need another bundle. I'm not going to have enough. Also, the white on white fabric that I chose to use, this one has like little triangles on it. You can't see. I'm not going to have enough with that either. <laughs> so I'm combining it with this white fabric that has like a really nice white spot on it. So I'm doing a mixture of like these two colors for the background along with this Liberty fat quarter bundle and another one that I'm going to buy possibly today or tomorrow. There's a couple of different choices that you can get. So yeah, that's where we're up to with this project, which is slightly annoying. It's either that or I just make a smaller version. The finished quilt size says it's 137 centimeters by 160 centimeters, which is 54 inches by 63 inches. I mean, that's still a pretty big quilt. Maybe I could do like a lap quilt. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should just make out of what I have, see how far I get. And then if I feel that I need more, then I'll buy another uh, Liberty bundle, either from Liberty themselves or from the Strawberry Thief. That might be a better idea. hate making decisions. Oh, okay, I think I'll just think about it, sleep on it, and um, figure out what to do tomorrow. This is my little sample, by the way. This is what I do when I'm testing quilts, just with my scrap fabrics. I'll just do like a little test block, so that's why it looks a bit rubbish. But I always like to test with scrap fabrics, just to make sure that everything is going to work out fine before cutting into the actual fabric, especially when it's such precious fabric as this. This is precious. Obviously it is later on in the evening and it's time to say goodnight. We had my older brother and his wife and kids over for dinner again tonight to celebrate Mother's Day from yesterday. So it's always so nice to see those guys play with the kids have a bit of a cuddle with baby Lucas, who is just the most adorable little baby. But yeah, it's been a good night. It is at the moment freezing, which is why I'm all rubbed up and I'm gonna go to bed <laughs> because I'm cold and I want to warm up. Tomorrow I'm gonna make more of a decision about what I'm gonna do with the Liberty Spring Flower slash Orange Pill Quilt. I don't know what to call it. Maybe we'll just call it the Spring Flower Quilt because that's what it's called. I think I will just end up buying another bundle of fabric because I really want to make this quilt. It's one of those quilts that I've always wanted to make. So we're going to do it, I think. It's just choosing what colorway bundle that I want. But anyway, that's the decision for tomorrow. Thank you all very much for watching today. I hope this video inspires you in some way in your own quilting 
choices this year. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!